is absolutely miserable, but I am in my Halloween jumper. We were supposed to be going to the pumpkin patch, hence the attire. But unfortunately, they ran out of pumpkins, so not happening. Sadly, the cream blind came damaged, so we've now got a blue one. As we sadly can't carve pumpkins, I've convinced Luke to bake some cupcakes, so we're going to head and quickly get some ingredients and then come back and bake some Halloween inspired cupcakes. Um, there's also a competition going on in the Archer Club, so maybe enter them for that too. I hate bringing this boy shopping, he gets so many treats. ready for the best part. I'm going to eat it all. So it is ridiculously late at night but we've finally finished the cupcakes and um, we've done seven of the pumpkins, seven of the frankensteins and five of the skeletons um, but I just thought I'd show you four of each. <laughs> no more fit. I'm quite proud of them, not quite what Instagram was. It's more of the Instagram versus reality but I still like them. Hello, I've just got back from work, I know I don't look like it, I did a 9 hour shift, I've quickly come back um, in about half an hour, I had a shower, I got changed, I put on some makeup and some lipstick to feel a little bit more normal. Today is the award ceremony for the Student Nursing Times Awards 2020, it should have been in person in London back in April but um, sadly it's been delayed and it's now online, it's already started so I've missed the first 15 minutes. Um, but my category is coming up soon and so are all the other 21 categories, I think I've missed like 4 or 5 um, and yeah, I'm excited, I don't think I'm going to win to be honest um, which is a bit annoying because I would have stayed on shift <laughs> um, but we'll see, apparently they're going to email the 3 top people um, with a link to the video conference so I might not even get seen, I kind of thought we were all going to be seen and um, be on screen but no, just the three, the top three are going to be ready to go and then just the top one is going to be seen. So I can't see it lasting very long to be honest, but we'll see. Apparently there's entertainment competitions and whatnot. I don't really know what to expect. Sorry, I'll get there eventually. <laughs> That's okay. It's absolutely amazing. It's, um, it's an honour to have just been nominated, um, never mind win. I didn't think I had a chance at all. Um, my category was really strong, so yeah, it's absolutely amazing. Amazing. I've got my Diet Coke at the ready to either celebrate or commiserate, so we shall see how this goes. Category, which is the individual one for a uh, student midwife of the year. And the shortlist is as fo follows. Sorry, is as follows. Alison Anderson, Beatrice Bennett, Bethany Chapman, Melissa Connolly, Maria Leitzinska, Ella Sanford, Hannah Slack, <laughs> Sonia Taka, and Jody White. And to announce our winner is former Deputy CEO and Director for Nursing and Midwifery at Nottingham University Hospital NHS Trust, Jenny Leggett. Hello, my name is Jenny Leggett. I'm the retired Director for Nursing and Midwifery for Nottingham University Hospitals. I'm here to present the Student Midwife of the Year. The candidate was outstanding in their ability to critically question and challenge practice where needed. Their passion for autonomous and evidence-based practice across all areas of midwifery overwhelmed us as judges. The winner is Maria Lazinska, University of Worcester. Aww. Congratulations, Maria. Great, thank you, Jenny. Uh, again, unfortunately, Maria can't join us this evening, but we wish her our congratulations. Sadly, I didn't win the prize. Um, and annoyingly, the midwife, who, the student midwife who did, wasn't on. It's quite um, 
well, it's actually really poor how many of the shortlist people aren't available on the video call. I think it's really sad. Um, but anyway, next up is these category. I didn't record, I kind of wish I could have recorded it, but I was on my phone ready to go live if I needed to. Um, so I couldn't record it. And I thought I'd be able to skip back through the old live, but um, it's not letting me. Beatrice Bennett. Roberto Boggy Ear. And they exhibited some really excellent leadership qualities. Really well deserved. The winner is Rose James. University of Chester. Fantastic. So let's meet our winner. So well done, Rose. What a great Hi. category to win. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm absolutely elated. This means so much. Um, yeah, this, I just hope to go forward and continue to support students and absolutely everything that we do. And well done to everybody. <laughs> I am not sure about this band. I don't know where they've come from, who they are. They're very different. <laughs> Absolutely freezing. Had a little bit of wasted time getting ready. I should have stayed at work, to be honest. So I should have stayed at work, to be honest. I'm kind of regretting it, but hey ho. Um, it was an experience. I'm freezing. Did I already say that? So I'm going to put the heater on, which is upstairs. Um, and then I'm going to cook, I think. I think I'm going to eat. I'm starving and um, I just need an early night. So, yes, I'm going to eat. And then... Um, I did just get some good news, that's what I was going to say. I have my new front door coming tomorrow, so I'm really excited for that. And my dining room table's coming, my TV stand's coming, and some artwork's coming. So it should all be coming together. I am a bit disappointed though, because my mental's now shift, switched to shift, so she's now working tomorrow. So I kind of feel like I should be working too, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I don't, think I, I don't think I can do another day when I've just been like knackering myself out even though I've only done nine hours today, like nine hours is a lot. So I'm going to put the oven on, oh I thought I'd already put the oven on, I'm going to run upstairs and get the heat so that's the first thing I'm going to do. Um, yeah, and then go probably just chill for the rest of the night watching TV um, and yeah. Anyway, uh, that is the end of my nursing, no student nursing times award journey. Um, a bit anticlimactic, but um, well done to all the winners and congratulations to everyone of all of the 21 categories who were shortlisted because they all did amazing um, to even get there. And thank you to everyone who wished me luck, tuned in and celebrated. I am literally so exhausted. It's not even 7 o'clock yet. Sorry, no it is 7 o'clock, it's not even 8 o'clock yet. Um, I've just been on the phone to my dad for an hour. I um, haven't spoke to him for a few weeks, so that was nice. But yeah, I think I'm definitely getting an early night tonight. It's hard to believe that, like, if I wasn't in this house, I would have only just been getting in from work. Um, but yeah, I'm knackered, absolutely knackered. So um, I'm going to go get ready for bed, take this makeup off, um, and get ready for tomorrow. I basically need to put all my washing away and move that table and the TV because um, the furniture's coming tomorrow and it needs to go in here. So that is the plan. And did I mention I'm getting a new door? I feel like I did. But the new door's coming tomorrow for the front half of the house, the dining room table and the TV stand. Um, I'm going to try to build them myself, but um, it might not go very well. So I'm going to try and tidy away for a bit and then head to bed, I think. 
feel like I can finally breathe. I'm absolutely exhausted. I'm still in my pyjamas, but today has been a ridiculously productive afternoon, day, morning, all day to be honest. Um, I woke up at nine, I got an order, then they came to fit my new door, so I've got a new front door, and then I got um, my, the rest of my furniture. So I've made my TV unit all by myself, and I've made the two benches to the dining room table, um, but I just haven't had time to make the, TV, the actual table. And uh, Luke's coming over, so I'm going to leave that for him. I'm actually really impressed that I've managed to do the other two, and I didn't really struggle. I do have one injury. I mean, I hit my thumb loads when I was putting the backing on with tacks. Um, but I've got one injury on my wrist, just where I scraped myself. And I did mess up a little bit on the TV stand, which I'm really annoyed at, and I tried to super glue it, but realistically, you're not going to be able to see it because there's going to be stuff in front of it, but I'll show you the damage now. So this is the table that still needs to be made, but these are the benches, so everything matches basically, um, and this is part of the table. And then this is the TV stand, how amazing. Well, TV unit, TV stand. I can't work out how to change the doors, so there's a gap here, and it needs to be more of a gap here. You're supposed to just be able to loosen um, these things, but I just make it really wobbly, so I'm going to leave Luke to do that. And the damage, I'm actually not sure if you're going to be able to see it in the lights, but um, basically there's going to be something there. I don't know if it's that picture, but there's going to be pictures or like TV type things blocking it anyway. Um, but I'm really annoyed. I um, put a tack screw through, it came through at an angle and it knocked some of the wood off. Um, Try to super glue it on, not really worked, but hey ho. Oh, we've gone blurry. You can't see it when you stand and look like that, and you can't see it when you sit down, so hopefully it'll be okay. Anyway, Luke is finally on his way, somewhat late, so hopefully he'll be able to put the dining room table together with no problems, and then we'll have enough to for tea, so that'll be nice. Um, I'm just knackered, I feel really exhausted. Tomorrow I am doing, so my washing machine came at the weekend, I can't remember if I vlogged that. Um, but I did all of clothing wash, so tomorrow I'm doing my bed sheets and my towels because they're like two weeks. Um, and I try to wash my towels every week, so a little bit overdue. Um, so I'm washing those tomorrow, but I'm also prepping for my interviews on Friday morning, so I'm prepping all day tomorrow. I'm ready for it basically. The TV stand is put together, the dining table is put together, and of course for our first meal I had to put the placements out and the nice napkins. I'm just about ready for bed and I've just started editing this vlog and I realised it's actually quite long so I was going to make it a big Halloween thing um, but you have to come back next time for Halloween itself so Halloween weekend is going to be in the next vlog so thank you so much for watching I'll speak to you next time bye